Panasonic partners with Binance listed Jasmine Altcoin, sparking token price surge. Such a Sunder Origin last updated, March 26, 2024, 703 EDT, one minute read. Binance listed altcoin Jasmine Coin Jasmine has announced a partnership with tech giant Panasonic to foster development of a platform that applies blockchain tech and EOT. Jasmine is an Internet of Things, EOT focused Japanese cryptocurrency. The altcoin stunned investors last month with an explosive 160% move in response to new crypto investments. Regulations in Japan. The strategic collaboration aims to create a Web3 based platform that connects decentralized database to the EOT. This allows device information to be attributed to individuals and provided to others securely. Jasmine CFO wrote on X, We will spend three six months building a platform that ties a personal data locker, a decentralized DB, to the EOT. Per a Tuesday's press release, the platform leverages Jasmine Personal Data Locker PDL technology alongside Panasonic's extensive know-how in EOT. As the EOT ecosystem continues to grow and evolve, the integration of Web3 technologies is poised to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of this interconnected world. According to EOT Analytics, global EOT connections are expected to grow to $27 billion by 2025. That said, the new platform promises to revolutionize how data is managed and utilized in the EOT landscape by providing enhanced security, data ownership, and interoperability. Jasmine Coin price surged by 10%. Following the announcement, the price of the altcoin Jasmine raised 10% to 231 cents at press time. Jasmine Coin also reached a staggering 400% increase in value over the past two months. The anticipation surrounding the altcoin's future pricing is buoyed by predictions of substantial growth. The coin is poised or an upward price trajectory and the optimism is spurred by the advancement of technology. Per Jasmine Coin's price prediction by Crypto News, the altcoin would gradually evolve above average price of 25 cents by December this year. Follow us on Google News.